In this video, we're going to talk about how to style the accordion. Now, like many frameworks, there are lots of CSS files and lots of CSS classes in the jQuery UI framework. And so sometimes it's beneficial to go ahead and use the inspect option that is provided in Google Chrome. There's also similar tools in IE and Firefox, but we're gonna go ahead and do this from the Chrome perspective. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and alter this header. We wanna alter the colors. So let's go ahead and actually expand this out. Now, in order to do an inspect, it's very simple. You just come down here, you right click on the element that you want to inspect, you hit the inspect button, and then look at all this information we get. And the critical piece here is you can see the CSS file where all of the properties are located. And it's in the jQuery-UI.structure.css file. We know about that one, we used that one before. And then we can see where the rule set is. It's in this UI-accordion-header. So that's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and resize this again. And now let's go ahead and we'll go to the jQuery UI folder. And you guessed it, we're going to go to the UI.structure.css file and we're gonna edit that in Notepad++. And then remember what we're looking for, we're looking for that UI accordion header. So let's go down here. You could actually do a search on this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down here. And it's usually in these visuals. And look, right, there it is, UI hyphen accordion header. So by using the inspect button, this is how we found this. It's really easy to use. And again, it's very useful if you have very large CSS files. And actually to prepare for this lecture, I had to actually use the inspect button. Trust me, I can't remember everything. And that's certainly something I can't remember. So you know what, let's close this out for now. And what do we wanna change in here? Let's change the color of the text and let's change that to red. We'll give this a little bit of a Roman look or something. So we'll put in color red and let's make the background black. So we'll change that color. And then let's go ahead and give this a more meaningful border. So we'll go ahead and use the border property, of course. And let's make it five pixels wide. We'll make it a nice big border and we'll make it solid green. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page, take a look at that. And actually I kind of like that better than what the jQuery UI provided. Now we want to change the content panel as well. So let's go ahead and expand this out again and let's just right click right on that element and we'll hit inspect. And there you can see we need the accordion hyphen content class. That's what we need to update. So let's go ahead and look for that. So we'll just scroll down here. I think it's pretty close actually. And it is right there. Take a look at that. And actually let's go grab these two properties right here. And we'll just come down and copy and paste these right in here. So what do we want? Let's go ahead and we'll make the color of the text brown. And let's make the background of the content panel light yellow. And then let's actually make the text bold. So we'll go font weight and we'll make that bold. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's expand this out again. Let's hit refresh. And there you can see, we've got our new theme. So again, it's not too hard to navigate around complicated CSS style sheets using the inspect option in Google Chrome. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.